Good Tuesday morning to you, the 6th of April, first Tuesday after Easter, and uh, what, a, what a great day it is. We get to live in the celebration of the resurrection of Easter. One of my favorite stories that ties to Jesus' resurrection is uh, found in John chapter 11, verses 20 through 32. This is that famous account of Mary uh, meeting Jesus on his way into town after Lazarus has died. Mary and, and Martha are um, mourning the loss of their brother. And, and Martha actually runs out and meets um, Jesus on the road. And, and she uses this language that she recognizes Jesus' power over death by saying, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. She didn't recognize the fact that he had power over death to bring him back, but the fact that if he had been there, he could have kept him from dying. And Jesus goes on and and they, they have this dialogue, and he says, uh, you know, the, your brother will rise again. And Martha's like, well, we know that will rise again on the last day. They recognize the, the resurrection in the, in the end times. And Jesus says, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though he dies. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. And she said, do you believe this? And she said, or Jesus says, do you believe this? And, and she says, yes, Lord, we believe that you're the Messiah, the Son of God, the one who, who has come into the world. The question is, does she really believe that he can raise Lazarus from the dead? Only after, when Lazarus walks out of the tomb, does it become reality for her and for all those that were witnesses to that? Interestingly enough, though, it is still a question when they find the tomb empty. There's this doubt of the resurrection. Could he really be raised from the dead? And after seeing Jesus bring Lazarus from the grave, it, it shouldn't be much of a doubt, but there is. And we actually get to live in that resurrection, though we weren't there, though we didn't see it. We believe by faith that Jesus did rise from the dead, because if he hadn't, we would still be in a whole lot of trouble. Jesus could have saved himself from the cross, but he loved you and I and everybody more than his own life. And he gave it up so that dying on the cross pays the penalty for, for sin, conquers death and the devil, and then brings us into new life with God in, in, in that restoration of the relationship again. And now we get to live in that. And, and here it's, it's Tuesday, two days after Easter how much of our lives have changed from, say, last Thursday before Easter. There's still things to do. There's probably still struggles in relationships. There's still challenges with finances or jobs. But we don't have to stay in the same heart mode that we may have had before that because we worship and have faith in a risen Lord who conquers death and the devil. And that gives us hope. And we get to live in that hope. But even though our situations are the same, we have a Lord, a Father in heaven that loves us so much. And that should lift our spirits and give us something to be joyful about. So I challenge you, live in the resurrection of the risen Lord. 
live in the hope and the joy and the promise that comes with faith in Christ. He is there with you. He is the risen Lord. He is there with us in the midst of all our despair and our pain and in whatever challenges we are faced. Live in that hope that he's with you. And that brings us joy in life, even in the midst of our stuff. And that gives people a reason to say, why are you so happy? Why are you so joyful in the midst of this craziness? And it gives us something to be able to talk about and share with them and lead them to the one who could save their life. Have a wonderful day of the resurrection.